Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Um, my name is Shijo and I'm an artist. I mainly paint with acrylic and watercolor um, and a whole lot of other mediums. So on my channel, I want to do um, reviews and to show you the products that I like or don't like and see if they will be a good fit for your art journey. So today I want to talk about these brushes by Le Benzum. I don't know if, um, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But I recently got these after watching Ari Langras reviews and she completely sold me on these brushes. And they are definitely a bit more pricey than what I usually pay for in a brush. I was not sure if it was going to be a good deal but um i decided to go for it and i hope this video is helpful for you if you're considering these brushes because they are quite pricey and um i also want to compare them to some brushes that i use a lot uh, in size and in how they perform so i have these princeton neptune brushes uh, these i use quite often i also use uh my jackson's brushes quite a lot those are really affordable and if you don't mind the shipping from um, Jackson's that could take a while then those I really recommend as well but these certainly are very different so I have two of them I have this one called the itty bitty orange synthetic brush and currently they are $25 and I can link these on the website their website is not the best and but you know you can you can manage and so this one is very small and this one the wangi wangi orange synthetic brush so both of them are synthetic and um the handle for both are bamboo according to their website and it it has a good amount of weight to it compared to some of my yeah some of my other brushes that feel a little bit lighter and it's hard to describe and I'll try my best to describe what makes them so different but for whatever reason I feel like my brush strokes are a lot more expressive and organic with these brushes and I'm not entirely sure why. So I just have a scratch um, piece of paper and I'm just going to use whatever um, paints that I have laying around. So I'll first um, use this number 12, yeah, Princeton Neptune brush. And, you know, it's kind of a, just a standard round brush and you can make strokes that, you know, you're familiar with, with a round brush. So that's kind of the size of it. And um, here's number four brush. So with watercolor brushes I like to have a big range because I feel like I can usually get a good range with one single brush so I don't need every size under the sun uh, so here is the number four brush and also you can make pretty thin lines with it and the color I'm using I think it's from Jackson's it's I want some Venetian red, but it doesn't matter, right? So that is kind of, and obviously you can keep building, but that is kind of the brush stroke that you will get with a, a round brush. And maybe I will mark it. So this is Princeton Neptune. And everyone uses their brushes differently. Um, so, you know, you can achieve a lot of different effects with one, one brush. A lot of times I paint in my, in the style that I paint, um, I, I can do an entire painting with one brush. And sometimes I use um, four different brushes. So it's very much up to your personal style. And here I'm just grabbing the same color and I want to show you what the Lebanzon, Lebanzon, <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, one thing I will say, it holds a lot of water. And now I've gotten used to kind of dabbing the water off. But if 
more than um, I would with any other paintbrush, but you can just see that the way the brush is made, the brush strokes are, and maybe it's the way that the bristle is cut, it's not quite perfect like a round brush. Maybe that's the reason why. And oh my gosh, I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> It's just a lot more organic and you know maybe it's the fact that the uh, the handle is bigger and you would hold it from farther away but whatever it is because I don't think I am doing anything different but because of the way that the brush is built the brush strokes that I instinctively instinct get is different um I'm hoping that this is not a stupid video because what I'm trying to say is not I don't think I'm expressing it very well but this is the mm, the orange wongi so that's the wongi and here I'll show you the itty bitty one too So this one is really fun, and I, I can show you how I really like to use this. But here, I like using it very concentrated with paint. Just checking to make sure that it's, we're still filming. And I like it, the almost dry brush effect that you get with it. And also, um, I like when, you know, you have a lot of paint on your paper. I like dragging the paint out with a clear brush. So let me see if I can demonstrate what I mean. Um, so if you, I have a big pool of color and I have a pretty dry and clean brush here with my itty bitty brush, I like to drag the color out and kind of play with it that way and you know create some cool effects so even though these and you know sometimes i'm not even like I'm, I'm not doing anything different yet the brush has um its own effect and yeah it's really really fun so i absolutely love these brushes since i got them a couple weeks ago i don't think so i'm going back to my the wongi Brush. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly and I just love the effect that you can get and yeah play with these brushes and um, hopefully I showed you how they're different than the round, round brushes like even if I try to be expressive with my brush strokes with the round brushes they don't come out quite the same and um, I think it's just a different cut so I think the next thing I'm going to do is do a quick, very quick demo of painting like a loose floral with uh, this Wangi brush as well as the Neptune brush to see uh, if you can see the difference between those two. Okay, I'm back. So I just want to show you some very loose, very loose um, paintings and say I'm painting a rose. And, you know, with this very pretty big brush, um, this is the number 12 brush. And I'm just trying to stay as loose as possible because that is why um, I really love this. The effect of the, the Wongi brush and I'm trying to kind of duplicate it with the Neptune brush. And using a lot of water again so this is a I'll can some paper but you know I'm, I'm gonna use the same colors and the same paper but just the only difference is the brush so and I'm using core so that's a very loose semblance of a rose with core watercolors and um 
again, I don't think I'm doing anything differently. The only difference that you're going to see is going to come from the brushes themselves. So here using the same color, I think this is Quint Magenta, and you can already tell that the brush strokes are more uh, they're more organic. They're not as round and perfect, um, and which is what I love because I don't care about painting uh, a perfect, you know, subject. That's not what I go for when it comes to painting, and this is just not my style. So I like I want them to be slightly irregular and. So adding in some colors here and I find that I I like splash splattering a lot um, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea but I don't think I can yeah not with this brush it's not very easy to do so and I just use a different brush that um, is easier to control when it comes to splashing but yeah, I don't know if this, maybe it's all in my head. Maybe I just love the way it feels, but I feel like I am looser when I use this brush. And um, I like the, the experience for sure a lot more. And um, I like the, the work as well. And here, I'll show you what I meant with this itty bitty brush. So I kind of uh, get most of the water out and obviously it's not, something but say uh i want to there's a big pool of water here and i can what i can do is i drag it out and create some kind of effect with it and i like doing this a lot and uh so these colors are not quite as concentrated as i would like them to be when i do this when i do use this effect so um what i would do is i like the effect more when it's coming from a color that's more concentrated because you can see it better and it's just such a cool effect i think but yeah um i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and yeah i really like these line work that's more a bit more delicate and um yeah uh, I hope this all made sense um, and if this video convinced you that uh, these brushes are what you're looking for great if not you know we all like different things uh, but I hope this is helpful for you and I'll see you next time bye